The Los Angeles Lakers are looking to add a lot of pieces to their team after trading Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and three first round picks for Anthony Davis. They should really look to add some shooters as three point shooting was a big problem with last year's team and it is still a huge problem given their current players on their roster. So let's go over three shooters the Los Angeles Lakers should sign in free agency. And before we get into it, as I said in my other videos, I have been facing some copyright issues as of late, and I would really appreciate it if you guys can subscribe to my backup channel. I have this channel in case anything happens to this one, and I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. Please subscribe to that channel and of course my main channel, The T-Ball, as it would go a long way into helping me to continue to put out some interesting NBA content out for you guys, and I would just really appreciate it. So, let's get back into the video. First up, I have Seth Curry. This would be an underrated and I think a cheap signing for the Lakers as Curry went under the radar with the Blazers this past season. He didn't play too many minutes in the regular season with Lillard and McCollum in front of him, but he made the most of his minutes when he was on the floor. Curry was a great floor spacer as he shot 45% from 3 and he was excellent as a spot up shooter. He would get a ton of open looks playing next to LeBron and I actually think he could possibly see an increase in his percentages. It would be super fun to see Curry with the Lakers and a one year. $5 million deal should be fair for both sides. Next up, I have JJ Redick. He would be an excellent fit with the Lakers and he is probably the best option on this list given his consistency from 3. Catch and shoot 3s, pull up 3s off of screens, you name it, Redick can shoot it in basically all ways from downtown. He makes tough contested 3s and even at 34 years old, he seems to keep on getting better as he had a career high in scoring last season with the Sixers. He would get a lot more open looks with the Lakers given LeBron's passing and handoffs from Davis on threes could be an excellent play as well. On defense, Redick isn't very good, but his offense outweighs his problems on D in my opinion. A one-year $10 million deal may get Redick to sign with LA, since he would be getting a nice payday while playing for a contender. And finally, I have Danny Green. I think Green would be a great fit next to LeBron, as he would get a ton of open catch-and-shoot opportunities from downtown. Green is a knockdown shooter, and he would help space the floor and open up driving lanes. While his shooting would be a huge asset for the team, I think he would help the team the most with his perimeter defense. Green is one of the top perimeter defenders in the NBA, and he would help lock down the opposing team's biggest guard or wing threat. He's versatile on defense, and he should have no trouble on switches as well. I think a 2-year, $18 million deal with the team option in the second year may be able to get him to sign, but there's a good chance he may just stay with the Raptors given that he just won a championship with them. But if the Lakers are able to get him, he would be a terrific fit on the team as a starting shooting guard. So that's a wrap. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business or have any video ideas for me to do. Let me know as I do try to get back to all you guys there. Drop a comment down below on which shooting guards you want to see the Lakers sign. Let me know as I do it all comments. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say. So without that being said, once again, thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you soon for the next video. Peace.